Hey, what's up, everybody? Happy to be with you again. The New York Giants coming to this game against the uh, Boston Doves. They are in uh, third place, two and a half games behind the Cubs, who continue to uh, really streak in this. The Cubs have beaten the Pirates um, two games in a row. And uh, so we'll see what happens here. The uh, Giants, of course, lost against uh, Boston in the uh, April 29th game. This is April 30th. Let's see if they can redeem themselves a little bit here. Roger Bresnahan rolls a 32 for a 26 as a ground ball over to second base. Richie has it, throws to first for the out one away. Mike Dolan rolls a 61 for 27. That's a ground ball to Sweeney at third, throws to first for the out two away. And here is Spike Shannon. Shannon rolls a 65 for a 35, pop up over to the first baseman again for the third out. We go to the bottom of the first. You can see here that I've uh, done a little bit of taking off the uh, saturation for this dice, still trying to fight against that glare. Uh, the roll here is a 41 for Claude Ritchie for a 28. It's a ground ball over to shortstop. Bridwell has it, throws to first for the first out. Peaches Graham now rolls a 35 for a 42. He's hit by the pitch. That'll bring up Johnny Bates, runner on first base. Rolls a 24 for a 13, and Bates strikes out one, two away, rather. Here's Ginger Brumont. He rolls a 42 for a 13. There's another strikeout over there for Crandall, and we go to the top of the second. It's Fred Tenney. Tenney rolls a 66 for a zero, and the second roll is going to be a 56 for an eight. That's a single to left center field that will bring up Art Devlin, and I think the Tenney is one that we want to do a little bit of running with. Uh, let's give it a try and see what happens. He doesn't have that 11. And the roll is at 34 for our devil, and that's what you want to see. That's a base hit, sends Tenney over to third base. That's that secret of the uh, hit and run. Runners on first and third now for uh, Bridwell, and uh, we're going to not hit and run this time around. Bridwell is just going to roll. He rolls a 22 for a 7. That's a single to left field, and uh, one runner scores. The uh, other runner, um, Devlin, tries to advance to third, but uh, he's thrown out by uh, Brown. Brown throws over to, uh, where's the third baseman? Sweeney, there he is, for the out. And it's a one nothing game for the Giants with a one out here top of the second inning. Here's Cy Seymour. Seymour rolls a 62 for a 12, and he walks. Ferguson has a W. It's that uh, rare A-W combo, and uh, that'll bring up uh, Larry Doyle. There's a little bit of A and W going on. A Larry Doyle rolls a 22 for a 7, and that's a single over the left field. That will uh, not score a run, though, as it's a good play once again by Brown, who throws over to Bresnahan to make the out. And... Um, uh, that will, uh, I'm sorry, no, he doesn't make the out. That run does score. Uh, the uh, scoreboard is a little bit uh, slow in uh, changing things around. Either that or I didn't look closely enough. That means there are runners on a first and third for uh, Doc Crandell. And um, we're going to go ahead and uh, put on the suicide squeeze. In comes the infield. And the roll is a 52 for 27. That's a foul strike. And we're going to try again. Do the same thing again. That 27 we want to stay away from. Roll now is a 41 for a 27 for a second strike. The infield comes in. Off goes the bunt. It's a 22 for a 7. How many 22s have we seen here? That's another single. Scores a run. Um, and there's another good play by Brown over a third base, cutting off the runner. But it's 3 nothing for the Giants. And that'll bring up Roger Bresnahan. Roger rolls a 53 for an 18. That's going to change to 16. That means that's going to be a little fly out over to center field. Beaumont has that for the out. We are at the bottom of the second. Finally, 3 nothing Giants. Here is Bill Dolan, who rolls a 25 for a 10. That's a single to center field, and that'll bring up Dan McGann, runner on at first base. He rolls a 13 for a 14, and that's a walk, and that'll bring up George Brown, runners on first and second. He's going to bunt. He rolls a 34 for a 44. It's a good bunt over to the right side, and it's going to be Tenney who has that one, flips that one over to Doyle, covering at the bag at first, moves the runners up, though, and here comes Bill Sweeney, runners on at second and third, one out. And uh, Sweeney rolls a 34 for a 44. There is a little E component, though. It's a 31. It's a fly ball over to center field, and Seymour has that one for the out two away. And here comes George Ferguson. Ferguson rolls a 32 for a 26. It's a little ground ball over to uh, second base. It's going to be uh, Doyle, who has that one, throws to first for the out. We go to the top of the third, and Mike Dahlman's up there. Mike rolls a 31 for an 8. It's a ground ball over to Dahlman. The shortstop throws to first for the out one away. Spike Shannon now. Rolls a 46 for a 29. Come back over to Ferguson. Throws the first for the out two away. And here's Fred Tenney. Tenney rolls an 11 for a zero. And that's double column. The second rolls a 41 for a seven. And that's a single to right field. Hit number six for the Giants. That'll bring up our Devlin. Devlin rolls a 55 for a 9, and that's a single against Ferguson, who's now a B, and uh, he beats out the infield uh, uh, grounder for a hit. That'll bring up Al Bridwell now. Runners on a first and second. Brid Bridwell rolls a 46 for a 13, and he will strike out. We go to the bottom of the third. Claude Ritchie here as the uh, Doves start off from the top of the order again. Ritchie rolls a 15 for an 8, and that's a single to left center field for a base hit. And uh, up comes Peaches Graham now with Ritchie on at first. Ritchie is a slow runner, though, so there's a lot of things we can't do. 
We do want to roll the dice ourselves. That's what we want to do. Graham rolls a 32 for a 26. It's a little ground ball over to the uh, second baseman. Uh, Doyle flips that one over to Bridwell for the force out, but no double play. One away. Johnny Bates up there, and he rolls a 52 for a 27. There's your double play ball over. Devlin throws over to Doyle. Doyle then on to first for the double play. We go to the top of the fourth inning, and it's Cy Seymour. Cy rolls a 61 for a 32. It's a fly ball to Bates in right field. He has it for the first out. Now Larry Doyle rolls a 55 for an 8. That's a ground ball over to Dolan at short. Throws to first for the out. Two away. Doc Crandall now rolls a 32 for a 26. It's a ground ball over to the second baseman. Rich, who has that one, throws to first for the out. We go to the bottom of the fourth. It's going to be Ginger Beaumont, who rolls a 35 for a 9. That's a pop-up over to the third baseman, Devlin, for the first out. One away. Bill Dolan. Rolls a 46, 4, 22, changed to an 18. That's going to be an error, almost always an error. That's an error on Bridwell. Dolan reaches first, and that'll bring up Dan McGann. McGann rolls a 35 for a 42, and he's hit by that pitch. A runner's now on first and second with a one out, and here's George Brown. Still a three-run game, and we're going to have Brown bunt. And the rolls a 36 for 33. There's a little E, though. 26 is the roll just out of the range, and that's a strikeout in the end for Brown. Two away, and here's Bill Sweeney, who rolls a 23 for a 32. It's a fly ball over to Dolan in right field, and he's got it for the out. We go to the top of the fifth inning now, fast-moving ball game, and uh, this will be uh, Roger Bresnahan, who rolls a 24 for a 13 for the strikeout. One away, Mike Dolan up now. Rolls a 35 for an A. That's a ground ball over to Dolan. A shortstop makes the play and throws to first for the out. Two away, and it's Spike Shannon, who rolls a 26 for a 27. That's a ground ball over to the third baseman. Sweeney throws to first for the out. We go to the bottom of the fifth, and here is George Ferguson, still 3-0. Ferguson rolls a 64 for a 13 and strikes out. One away, and here's Claude Ritchie. Ritchie rolls a 14 for a 43. It's a fly ball over to Shannon in the left field, and he's got that one for the out. Two away, and it's Peaches Graham. Graham rolls a 44 for a 7. That'll be a single to right field. Only hit number 3 for the Doves. Here comes Bates. Johnny Bates rolls a 53 for a 15. And there's another hit by pitch. And that'll bring up Ginger Boomon. We've got to watch out for those 15s because you can get the pitcher ejected. I think we had that happen already in this season. Boomon now rolls a 62 for a 12. And he hits a little ground ball over to shortstop. It's the uh, shortstop Brid Bridwell who has this one and flips that one over for the easy out uh, to uh, Doyle. And uh, we go to the top of the 6. It's Fred Tenney up there. Tenney rolls a 21 for a 32. Fly ball over to right field. Bates has a for the out. One away. And here's Art Devlin. Devlin rolls a 36 for a 32. Another fly ball over to right field. Two away. And that'll bring up Al Bridwell. His rolls a 46 for a 13. He strikes out. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. And it's uh, Bill Dolan up there. Bill rolls a 55 for an 8. That's going to be a single. And then he's caught stealing because of the little C again. One away. And here's Dan McCann. McGann rolls a 52 for a 27. That's going to be a ground ball over to Art Devlin. He uh, makes the play, throws to first for the out, two away. George Brown up there now, and he rolls a 15 for an 11, and that's a single by Brown. And then he steals second base promptly afterwards, and uh, so that means Brown is now the runner on his second with uh, two outs here, bottom of the sixth inning. It is Bill Sweeney up there, and he rolls a 56 for a 34. A little uh, E might save him. Let's see. And the rolls a 22 right within the range. That's changed to an 18. That means that uh, Sweeney's able to uh, reach base after the uh, air on Bridwell, second air on the Giants. That'll bring up George Ferguson, but with two outs, he can't bunt. Let's see what he can do. His roll is a 23 for a 30. It's a little fly ball over to Shannon in the left field for the out. We go to the top of the seventh. Three nothing still to score. Cy Seymour now will roll a 66 for a zero. And his next roll is a 64 for a six. It's a double to right center field, and that will bring up Larry Doyle with a runner on a second. I know the Giants bunted a lot in 1908. It's kind of hard to do so, though, because all these hitters are so good. Here's uh, Doyle, who rolls a 65 for a 35, and he walks against Ferguson, who still has that W, of course. That's walk number two given up. And that'll bring up Doc Crandall, and um, almost don't want to bunt with him, but I will. Um, and he rolls a 44 for an 8, so it ends up being the right decision. It's a bunt back to Ferguson, who uh, throws that one over to Richie, covering at the first base bag for the out. They'll bring up Roger Bresnahan again. He's 0 for 3 today. Runners on at second and third. Bresnahan was hitting well, still hitting 346, so he's hitting all right. I'm not sure if he's going to continue to hit a leadoff, though, once we hit the uh, Sunday games. Bresnahan rolls a 63 for a 31. There's a fly ball over to center field. It's Boumont who has that one for the second out. And here comes Mike Donlin. And Donlin rolls a 23 for a 32. It's a fly ball over to right field. Bates has that one for the out. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning. And here is Claude Ritchie. Ritchie up there. Richie Rich rolls a 66 for a 0, and the uh, next roll is going to be a 12 for an 11. That'll be a single, then a stolen base for Richie, the uh, same old story we know. 
Peaches brings up uh, Peaches Graham. Graham's still hitting 300, 303 with a good on base percentage and good slugging percentage. He rolls a 32 for a 26. That's a ground ball over to second base. It's going to be uh, Doyle who has that one, throws to first for the out. Richie reaches third, one away. Johnny Bates up, infield is back. He rolls a 42 for a 13 and strikes out. Strikeout number five collected by Crandall. That'll bring up Ginger Boumont with two outs here. And Boumont rolls a 61 for a 40. He's changed to a 36. That's a wild pitch by Crandall that scores the run. And so it's a three to one ball game. And uh, the next roll for Boumont is a 23 for a 32 fly out over to Doyle in right field. He's got that one for the out. We go to the top of the eighth inning, and it's Spike Shannon now. Spike Shannon rolls a 26 for a 27. That'll be a ground ball over to Sweeney at third base. Makes the play. Throws over to first for the out. One away. Fred Tenney. Tenney's up there. Rolls a 51 for a 9. That'll be a base hit against Ferguson, the C, but he's thrown out because of that. Uh, I'm sorry, the B. He's thrown out because of that little C rating. It's what happens when you talk fast. Think about two things at once. That'll bring up Art Devlin. Two outs, top of the eighth. Art Devlin up there. Rolls a 53 for a 20. Changed to a 19. That'll be a line drive over to Sweeney, the third baseman. He has that for the out. We go to the bottom of the eighth. It's Bill Dolan up there. Dolan rolls a 55 for an A. That's a single, but he's caught stealing afterwards. One out, and here's Dan McGann. He rolls a 33 for a 7, and there's another single off of Crandall, who's changed to a D. That'll bring up George Brown, of course, in real life. And in this game, we're not going to gonna pretend we didn't know about that D. Not quite yet. Cran, uh, Brown rolls a 51 for a 9. That's an infield hit, and that will put runners on at first and second. And here comes Bill Sweeney. Let's see if Crandall can hold on. And Sweeney rolls a 44 for an 8. That's going to be a single that will score one and send the other one to second base. And uh, now it is uh, George Ferguson who's going to come up. And so uh, you knew that something like this was probably going to happen as soon as uh, that uh, uh, pitching grade changed. And uh, this is sort of the thing that happens. One of the interesting things, by the way, about uh, Skeeter Soft uh, is the uh, fact that, uh, you know, you uh, have this uh, uh, pitching system that for a season like 1908 still is really important. I mean, guys aren't shorted base hits the way that sort of Apple's old 1908 season did. It's a completely different way of thinking of this and a completely different way of looking at this game. George Ferguson comes up, and in real life, I'm pretty sure he would be up hitting for himself and bunting, and so that's what we're going to do. And the roll is a 34 for a 44. There is a little E roll. I'll tell you, if this is an error, it's going to be great. Now the roll is a 43. So much for that. It's a good bunt, though. Bunt over to the uh, right side, and uh, the first baseman has that one. That's uh, Tenney, who fields that one. And he flips that one over to uh, the uh, second baseman, Doyle, who's come up behind him to cover. And uh, that means that um, there are runners now on second and third for the Doves, but with two outs. And that'll bring up Claude Ritchie. Three to two ball game, close ball game, bottom of the eighth inning. This one's a good one. And ooh, the rule for Richie is an 11 for a zero. Is he going to score at least one, maybe two? And the next rule is a 26 for a seven. That will score two. And uh, so Richie pulls through with the base hit and uh, is able to score the two runs. It's a four to three ball game, just like that. And that's how quickly this can change. And um, Richie today ends up three for five. And we still have potentially another uh, inning to play. Peaches Graham will be the next hitter now with a uh, runner on at second base. And uh, two outs, uh, bottom of the eighth inning, four to three doves. And uh, Graham rolls a 65 for a 35. That's a little foul out over to the uh, third baseman, Devlin. That'll do it. We go to the top of the ninth. George Ferguson still has that B. He faces uh, Bridwell Seymour than Doyle. Bridwell first rolls a 36 for a 14, and that'll make uh, Ferguson go down to a uh, C. Bridwell has that speed, so we are going to hit and run. And that'll bring up Seymour. And uh, Seymour rolls a 64 for a 29. That's a little uh, comebacker over to Ferguson. Ferguson has that one and uh, throws over to uh, throws over to uh, first base for the out, and that's where that uh, hit and run really uh, came in handy. And I've, you know, I've got to make sure I do this correctly. You can see if you're looking over at the screen the um, name of, or the card of the player who was that back keeps changing. That's the thing I'm trying to avoid. Um, so uh, Seymour ends up moving the runner along. That'll bring up Larry Doyle with a runner on at second base. Doyle hitting only um, 230 this season, which is why he's hitting so far down in the order, at least for the time being. But he can redeem himself with this hit. He gets a hit here, and he rolls a 51 for an 8. That's going to be a single that will score the runner, and then he is caught stealing. And so uh, that'll bring up Doc Crandall. It's a 4-4 ball game, and it's a brand-new game. As Doyle comes through and gets the base hit, he is uh, thrown out trying to steal. I do maintain that it would be realistic to try to steal with Doyle there, so I'm not going to complain too much about that. And here comes Doc Crandall, and we're going to leave him in this ballgame, I think, because you got to have somebody pitch at the bottom of the ninth. 
and Crandall rolls a 43 for a 29. That's a comebacker over to Ferguson, who also is now a D, and he throws to first for the out. Go to the bottom of the ninth, and it's going to be Johnny Bates here. Johnny Bates rolls a 53 for a 15, and that's going to change to a 22. That's a little ground ball over to first base. McCann, I'm sorry, uh, Tenney has that. Throws over to Crandall, covering for the out, one away. Ginger Boumont now rolls a 13 for a 14, and he will walk and take his base. Brings up uh, Bill Dolan. Boumont does not have the 11, and now is the time where we have to play kind of safe. And so Dallin up there rolls a 32 for a 26. That's a ground ball over to uh, Doyle, who uh, the second baseman who flips over to Bridwell for the force out. One, two away, rather, and here comes uh, Dan McGann. McGann rolls a 15 for a 10, and that's going to be a single to right center field. Sends Dolan over to third base, and then McGann is able to steal second. So we have had big plays in this game so far, and uh, the big plays just continue to come. Uh, McGann ends up over on a second base. Dolan, the runner that counts, is on third. George Brown is the hitter. Brown today two for three. Remember, he had a uh, sacrifice hit in the first inning, um, which accounts for the other at-bat. He did strike out against Crandall, and uh, this time he rolls a 23 for a 32, and you can forget about this little fly out over to Dolan in uh, right field, and we're, we're going to go to the 10th inning. So lots of extra inning action. We just had an extra inning 1949 game yesterday, and uh, today... We have another one for you, more extra inning fun, more uh, extra baseball for you. It'll be Roger Bresnahan now coming up top of the 10th inning, and uh, Bresnahan rolls a 61 for 36, changed to a 37, and that's going to be a walk because of Ferguson's uh, W. That'll bring up uh, Mike Donlin, and now is the point in time where you have to make a couple of decisions. Bresnahan, of course, does not have that 11, and this is where it's kind of a shame to have him hitting first. The reason why I do is because his OPS is uh, so good. Uh, Donlin rolls a 53 for a 15 and is hit by the pitch. We've had a bunch of hit by pitches, but it's not been within that six out span. And so that puts runners on at first and second. And I've got to wonder about Ferguson if he's going to fall apart here. Runners on at first and second is Spike Shannon, who's up there. He rolls a 32 for a 26. That's a little pop up over to the second baseman, Richie, for the, one, the first out. Here is Fred Tenney. Tenney rolls a 41 for a 28. That's going to be a double play ball over to Dolan. Dolan has it over to Richie. Richie on to McGann for the double play. We go to the bottom of the 10th. And uh, here is Bill Sweeney. So both of these clubs still with a chance to win this one. Sweeney up there rolls a 44 for an 8. He gets the base hit, and then he's caught trying to steal second with uh, George Ferguson coming up there. One out, and uh, we're going to uh, have a, a pinch hitter. It's going to be Joe Kelly. I think I've said this before, but uh, yes, in real life, I think you would probably put Joe Kelly into this ball game in this situation. And uh, Kelly rolls a 65 for a 35. There's a pop-up over to Devlin at third base for the second out. Here is Claude Ritchie. Ritchie rolls a 55 for an eight. There's a single to left center field, and that'll bring up Pe Peaches Graham with the chance to end it maybe, maybe. Let's see. And uh, Graham rolls a 41 for a 28. That's a ground ball over to Bridwell. He makes the play, throws over to Tenney for the out. We go to the top of the 11th. Who is going to pitch? Who wants to pitch here? And uh, let's see here. I'm looking actually at the uh, game started totals because we want to avoid the guys with all of the starts. It's going to be either Young or Bolts, and we're going to do Bolts. Jake Bolts will come on. He has a 1.23 ERA so far this season, 222 batted against average, up against Star Devlin, and the rules of 51. I have to check again, 51 for a 10. Devlin gets the base hit, brings up Al Bridwell, runner on at first base. And uh, Bridwell rolls a 24 for a 13. That's a strikeout, one away. Here's Cy Seymour. Seymour rolls a 61 for a 32. It's a fly ball over to Bates in right field for the second out. And here's Larry Doyle. And he rolls a 32 for a 26. So that ends up being a ground ball over to Richie, who flips over to Dolan for the force out at second base. Just like that, we go to the bottom of the 11th inning. Is Johnny Bates up there against Doc Crandall, who's still holding on. Bates rolls a 46 for a 27. That's a ground ball over to third base. Devlin has it, throws to first for the out, one away. Ginger Beaumont. Rolls a 32 for a 26. That's a ground ball over to second to Doyle, and he throws to first for the out two away. Bill Dolan now rolls a 56 for a 34. It's going to be a pop-up, and it will be the uh, shortstop Bridwell who grabs that one for the out. We go to the top of the 12th inning. Let's see who we're going to bring up here now, and uh, probably Steve Evans. Steve Evans is going to be the pinch hitter with the 500 average. Hasn't hit at all this season because I haven't had a lot of substitutions for the Giants yet. Evans rolls a 62 for a 12. There's a little ground ball over to first base. McGann does that one himself. One away. Roger Bresnahan now rolls a 13 for a 14, but the Bolts has a double Z, so it's just two balls. Next one's another 45 for a 14. That's a walk, and that one comes with a stolen base added on to it. 
And uh, so this is another one of those um, interesting things, if you are not aware of this. Skeetersoft has um, some different ratings, some of which you will see in app. I mean, it's easy, you will see. But um, things like uh, that uh, 4514 with an S on it is something that is something that uh, I don't think you see so much. I do think you do see the asterisk occasionally in APA, but it's kind of rare. Here, it's not quite that rare. Mike Dolan now rolls a 42 for a 9. That's going to be a single, and that will score the runner, but there's a little C there attached, which means that Donlin is caused stealing second. 5 to 4 now the score as Donlin gets it done, and he gets the runner in. And so... Um, the Giants go ahead in this one, and it feels kind of uh, dirty to root for the Giants, doesn't it? The 1908 Giants feel like a dirty team somehow, but um, they are ahead in this one, 5-4. to four. Spike Shannon now rolls a 54 for a 45. There is a little lead roll, and it's a 14. It's going to be another error. And uh, Shannon ends up reaching first base on the air, and uh, that'll bring up Fred Tenney with two outs here, top of the 12th inning runner on at first. And the roll is a 61 for 37, changed over to a 40. That's going to be a little ground ball over to first base. McGann has that one for the out. And so uh, fasten your seatbelts because we're going to the bottom of the 12th inning. And uh, who comes in here? We're not going to put in Matthewson. Malarkey is probably the obvious choice, either Malarkey or Taylor. Uh, depends upon who you want. This is where I really wish it would show me how much these guys have pitched so far this season. I think we're going to use Malarkey. And so uh, Malarkey it is, and he comes into this. He's pitched five innings so far this season, hasn't given up a run. He's up against Dan McGann, who rolls a 53 for a 19. Changed to 16. It's a little harmless fly ball over to center field. Seymour has that one for the out, one away. George Brown now rolls a 25 for an 8, and that's going to be a little uh, ground ball over to the shortstop. It's uh, uh, Bridwell who has that one, throws the first for the out, two away, and it's Bill Sweeney now. He rolls a 35 for a 14, and he walks, and he'll be the runner on, and there is a last gasp for the Doves. Here comes the pitcher's spot, and we're going to have Jack Hannafin comes up to hit. Jack Hannafin hitting 500 so far this season, two for four probably or something like that. He has a home run already. Home run would be pretty big if he could do that. Hannafin rolls a 13 for a 14, and that's going to be a walk, and so there is a chance. There is a chance in this one with uh, two outs here in the bottom of the 12th inning um, the uh, tying run is on base. The potential winning run is on base. And uh, it's all set up, and it's all ready to go for uh, Claude Ritchie. Runners on at first and second. Ritchie today is four for six, having a real whale of a game. Lots of those singles. And uh, he rolls a 23 for a 29. That is a comeback over to Malarkey. He throws over to first for the out, and there's your ball game. So the Giants win this marathon, 5-4, to 12-inning ball game. Hope you enjoyed that one. That was uh, definitely uh, something worth uh, thinking about and keeping in mind. That was a fun game. 26 hits combined between the two teams. I ask you again, is this really 1908? Talk with you tomorrow. Bye-bye.